G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you a video around a challenge that I faced which was how to take the footage off my Sony a7S II camera and edit it on something else that wasn't a computer. Um, so I already have an iPad Pro available to me to travel with and I use it for email and a lot of other work related stuff but I wanted to be able to take the footage from the camera and simply just put it into iMovie on my iPad and just edit that video but I found out the hard way that it wasn't as simple as that or as simple as what maybe Apple makes it out to be. So through some research and through some digging online I found a few different apps and accessories that um, make it really really easy now to take that video footage and edit it. And this is aimed towards those of you who might be travelers or bloggers or any of you who don't have a dedicated space or a dedicated PC to edit video on and maybe all you have is an iPad uh, Pro or an even, even an earlier model. Um, you know, you might be in school and you might have already had an iPad for a few years. So hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully this video uh, is helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and let's begin. All right, so before I jump into the app and what app I use and everything else, I just wanna quickly talk about the gear. So for me personally, I'm recording on a Sony a7S II camera. I record at 4K, 30 frames a second. Um, so the app and the iPad itself will work with 4K footage if that's what you're choosing to shoot in, uh, but it'll also obviously work in lower format. So if you wanna just do 1080p or uh, 720p, that will also work as well. Now, as far as the adapters or accessories that you might need to consider buying, uh, the ones that I had to get was from the Apple Store, the Lightning to USB camera adapter. Uh, this is the model that has the Lightning port on the bottom as well, so you can actually um, provide the adapter with a little bit of extra power. Some cameras do require you to have the uh, Lightning cable plugged in in order for the camera to be detected by the iPad. Um, depending, again though, it depends on the camera that you might have. The other adapter could be just simply a lightning to SD card reader. Now, unfortunately for me with my camera, it doesn't work with video, it only takes the photos off. So I actually did buy this first. Um, I'll still keep it, but it's only gonna be for when I wanna import my photos. The one that I needed to get was the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Um, from the Apple Store, and here in Australia it was about $69 or something like that. So definitely consider getting one of these. You know, they're very small, you can travel with it. It's um, a simple adapter. The iPad that I use is an iPad Pro. It's the 10.5 inch model, obviously running the latest iOS, but if you've got an iPad Air or an iPad Pro 12 inch or any of the other iPads, um, that's gonna work for you perfectly fine as well. Now the app that I use is an app called Luma Fusion, so L-U-M-A Fusion. This is from a this is from the App Store. It costs about thirty dollars, um, which might seem expensive for an app, but once you see what the app can do, I think it's really going to be a really great app to own and to use. As if you compare it to other options like Adobe Premiere, you're looking at a monthly subscription of about thirty dollars per month, or at least that's what it here is in Australia unless you're a student and you can get that subsidized amount. So um, the app for $30, you own it, you pay for it once and you're done and you can edit all of your video footage um, and you have a lot of the same tools available to you that you would normally find in pro software like Adobe Premiere. So out of all the apps that I found uh, on the App Store, this is probably the best app to get and the one that I would recommend. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just simply take you through the app and some of the features of the app and what it can do. It's not gonna be a tutorial on how to edit video or anything like that. Um, I'm personally not a great video editor. I've been learning since I started this channel back in January and I'm still learning. And the, the reason for me to get the app on the iPad was I'm not always, um, like I said, able to edit my footage at home. Um, I might start doing vlogs in the future so to be able to just take the camera and the iPad and one accessory is going to be awesome for when I decide to go on holidays and I want to be able to uh, keep up and upload and edit videos. So what we'll do now is we'll open up the LumaFusion app. So it's got this little funky icon here. Tap on that one there. 
and the first thing that you'll need to do is create a project. So I've got the Apple Pencil. Now, it's not necessary to get the Apple Pencil. I just find it to be a little bit more uh, precise when I'm doing things like cutting a uh, piece of video or adjusting color or adjusting audio. So not, not ne uh, necessary to have the pencil. In the top of the screen here, we're gonna have a little icon here, which is for creating your project. So we're gonna go ahead and press the plus symbol down, sorry, the bottom left corner. And we're gonna give the project a name. I'll just leave it as my project. The frame rate, you can obviously uh, change your frame rate. If you wanna change it to you know, 24 frames or 30 or even 60 frames, you can do that within the app. The aspect ratio, so if you're doing widescreen video, 16 by nine. If you're doing uh, Instagram video, you can do nine by 16. Uh, and there's all these other options here as well. So depending on where the footage is going to be shown or where you're placing the footage, you can change your aspect ratio in the project as well, which is great. So we're gonna hit the plus button to create project. You'll see on the, uh, on the top left corner of the iPad, you've got here your photos, albums, and videos. You can always go ahead and tap on this little sort of flower looking icon and you can actually change um, potentially where you're importing from as well. So you can go ahead and go from uh, your most recently imported. You can also go into things like titles, transitions, and iTunes. So this is kind of your source area. Um, for example, if I tap on photos, it's already got all of them in one big list, which is quite nice. And it actually gives you the, uh, the time of the clip and also the resolution of the clip as well. So you can just simply tap on a clip and drop and drag the clip down onto your timeline. And then you, what you'll see is the timeline imported with, uh, sorry, the video imported with the audio and the playback window of that clip, um, depending on where you are in your timeline. So you can scrub through that clip backwards and forwards and it'll give you the uh, playback in the top right hand corner. Um, now this video that I'm currently playing around with is a video on a controller that I did last week, which is how to game on an iPad with a controller or what controller you should consider getting. I'll leave a link to that video as well if you want to check that out. Now, going back to the app, you can actually go ahead and pinch to zoom to shrink or expand your timeline as well. So if you pinch to zoom uh, in, it will shrink your timeline down. If you pinch to zoom sort of out, that will actually go ahead and expand it. So you can really go in there and uh, change around parts of the clip that you like or don't like, cut in, cut out, edit audio, edit the color. Um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So really, really cool that you can do this on something like an iPad uh, versus something like Premiere, which costs a lot more money and requires a much more powerful computer to run it as well. So um, some of the cool features about the app is if you, for example, just want to import video without the audio, you can just tap on a clip, tap on edit, and then down the bottom here, you've got the frame, obviously, the speed of the clip, so you can adjust the playback speed if you want to. So if you want to do like one of those super fast um, effects, you can increase the speed to like maybe six times the playback speed. Um, but for audio, if you want to take the audio out, you just simply tap on the audio icon and you go ahead to your volumes on the right hand side and you just basically remove it all the way down to the bottom. So some of the other cool things that you can do as well is you can go ahead and simply just uh, snip parts of the clip in case you don't want that to be in your video. So you just basically move this blue line uh, to where you want to snip it and you just press the little scissor icon, tap on the scissor icon and now it's snipped. And then that clip that you don't want, if you tap on it, you can basically go ahead and you've got the trash icon on the far left, tap on trash and that clip's gone. So when you consider the fact that this is 4K video, it's uh, 100 megabits, it's the highest quality video that you can really get out of the Sony A7 uh, camera, and you consider that you're playing it back on something like an iPad, which doesn't have um, like a fan, it doesn't take up a lot of space, it's extremely portable, and you can do so much with it. It's a real, vi really, it's a really, <laughs> it's a real viable option um, compared to something like Premiere or even running out and buying like a really powerful computer, especially if you're still starting off and learning um, the basics of video editing or you're traveling a lot, this is gonna make life a lot easier for you.
Okay, so I'll probably leave it there and won't go any further. This wasn't really a video about how to use the app or all of the features uh, for the app. There's just too much to go through. I'll leave some links down below though for where to get some really good uh, tutorials. There's already a ton on YouTube, so I'll leave those links down below. And also the LumaFusion website has a really, really good support page and gives you a lot more uh, depth as far as what you can do with the app. So this is just more of a video about what's possible with something like an iPad, uh, the app, you know, simple accessory like the camera adapter, and your digital camera. So if you're planning on traveling or uh, you're still starting off and you're still learning the basics of video editing, this would probably be the best way to start. It's really inexpensive if you've already got some of the gear. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, consider, consider giving me a thumbs up, um, hitting the thumbs up button if you did like this video. You can reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, if you wanna purchase or pick up some of the gear, I'll leave the Amazon link to that as well. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.